Greetings, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> um, took a little bit of a break just because, uh, as far as movie reviews, there really wasn't <laughs> that many movies I wanted to see. Uh, so there wasn't really any to review. Um, the only one I went to go see really that kind of wanted to review was uh, Goldfin the Goldfinch, uh, which it was good. Um, nothing, nothing too great about it, but it was pretty good. I did I did enjoy it. I think a lot of people didn't enjoy it. I think critically, it's not that good, which I get. It really doesn't pick up until like halfway through the movie when one character is introduced, and then I actually found it really entertaining after that. But yeah, man, like, I just took a break. I just need a little break. Um, I've been doing a lot of overtime at work, so that just drains me after work from doing anything. And really, there really hasn't been anything to talk about or to review well, until now, because now I got my Marvel Collector Course box, Marvel 80 Years uh, theme, which, yeah, of course, I have seen the spoilers of what's inside and everything and I already know what's in it but I gotta say it's a pretty good box oh, of course of course the first thing is I drop the little pin the little hydro pin that comes in it and has the little safety back in case you were wondering uh, which is pretty cool because you can kind of it, this is literally going to be used for almost every cosplay now uh, it's just a little, you know, hydro pin on you. Uh, you do get a shirt. And while I open that, but yeah, so... Yeah, it's just, I've been... It really hasn't been anything to talk about. That's why I really haven't been doing much videos. You know, I've just been letting pretty much the AX videos just go wild. And that's pretty much been it. Uh, here is the shirt, which is a cool pop green goblin. <laughs> which I think is a great pick for uh, the Marvel 80 years because Green Goblin has been pretty involved in a lot of storylines. I mean, granted, yeah, he's mostly Spider-Man, but he does pop up, you know, randomly here and there. And like I said, I mean, pretty much, yeah, I just haven't, I don't know, like as far as videos and stuff, there really hasn't been much. <laughs> and you get this cool little sticker too, uh, going back to the box, which is like the little... Um, I don't have a comic on me right now. Uh, you know, the little indent that they always put in the top left, or I think they move it around, but I believe it was top left corner. They would always have the little, you know, price and <laughs> everything. But this is pretty cool. It's just one whole, yeah, it's one whole sticker. It looked like the heads were all separate, but it's pretty neat. Um, it is pretty cool that these boxes actually say how many pieces are in it so there's five pieces we've already seen three which is the pin the sticker which there should have been more stickers than just one um i will actually probably end up using this sticker somewhere uh and then we do of course we do get the postcard of what's in the box and what's to be up next but yeah so uh yeah back to what i was saying just oh man this is a, oh wow this box is pretty cool. So we do have Loki, which is the original version of Loki. But this box, I don't know if you could tell, it has some, yeah, you could tell, holographic. And it's just a higher quality. Uh, the back is really cool, I got to say. Uh, box compared to most of them. This is really cool, actually. Like I said, I've seen the pops and everything. It even shows the... On the back, first appearance, Journey into Mystery 85. Uh, that's in the back, of course, that's the first appearance of Loki. So that's pretty cool. And this is his original look in that set. And we'll actually take them out. Blasphemy, I know. Uh, I do take out my pops, but... Yeah, so... Yeah, um, but yeah, overall, just, there hasn't really been much to do as far as making videos and stuff. Uh, granted, of course, October's going to be busy for me. Uh, I have this box, of course, unboxing, and he actually has a stand, which 
I'm glad they added a stand, even though he does have pretty big feet and he does stand decent. He actually stands pretty well compared to some of the other Lokis, but I'm glad they finally added a stand to Loki. Um, granted, I don't have too many Lokis, but all the ones I have now, like two, <laughs> uh, whenever he has his helmet, it just really messes up his counterbalance and everything. Uh, so I am glad they actually come with the little stand now because that would make him standing oh yeah way better but here we go so we got Loki which is cool he has, he has this little it's not really yeah yeah that is his actual ponytail's hair oh there's actual little oh that's cool I didn't know that he actually had that um yeah, because it's like he's wearing like a hood underneath his helmet. You kind of tell. So that's not his hair, this part. It's actually a hood. So it's material. Well, it's supposed to be material. And <laughs> this pop, it's all, you know, vinyl. But he actually has a little uh, hair tie in the back. So this is actually his hair. And that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, this is a pretty good... Actually, the paint jobs on these things pretty good. I mean, it's not too crazy. I do like the metallic that they used for his helmet. It really... It actually looks metal. I mean, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually a really good color. I mean, they've made so many of these. I mean, just in this line, it's number 508. Yeah, with 5... Yeah, man. 508, which is actually pretty funny because he appeared in number 85 so this one looks close but next of course unfortunately the box doesn't have anything like they used to where they had a nice cool little design we do have a Thanos which whew, man his box got a little dinged up but luckily I'm not gonna be keeping him in the box he's going on display probably with some other Thanos this is a pretty menacing Thanos which of course once again we do have uh, the graphics same just like Loki on the box so that's pretty cool uh, his first appearance the Invincible Iron Man number 55 interesting I did not know it was Iron Man that his first appearance was in that's pretty wicked but yeah let's open him up because yeah his his box got a little dinged up you can see so, there is no point in keeping him in the box anymore. That he is all dinged up. Oh, man. He is big. He is not... Okay, so he is not a 6-inch pop. But he's like 5-inch, man. Like, you can see, even compared to Loki, uh, if I kind of level out their feet. <laughs> Even Loki's helmet uh, is still not as tall as him. And, wow, this is pretty crazy. Like, yeah, like I said, he's not a six inch technically because, excuse my Thanos here. He's a little, <laughs> he's a little dusty. But, uh, yeah, you could see. So if I try to balance off their height, you kind of see the six inch Thanos is a little bit bigger, but also the proportions are different. Granted, of course, this isn't one of the older designs, so of course, they, lately they've been doing some really good details and everything. Um, but yeah, he's a little shorter, so he's like. That Thanos back. He is, let me see, I think I have a tape measure here. Uh. Yeah, so he's like five and uh, three quarters. He's pretty big guy. And I actually kind of feel like I want to switch him out for the other Thanos that I have now. Because he just looks way more cooler. So this is his uh, classic version, as you can see from his design and stuff. He actually does not have the Affinity Gauntlet, even though his gloves are kind of... Infinity Gauntlet looking, but man, this design of course is awesome. He even has like his muscle back, his back muscles. Even has 
little ab muscles. Like I can't catch it, so. <laughs> I use pretty cool Danos, man. I am definitely switching them out with those Danos I have. But yeah, so. As far as the pops go, these are pretty cool. Uh, I'm not too much of a fan of Loki, so that's, you know, cool. But not that big a fan. Uh, like I said, I only have like one Loki. I think I have two maybe. Uh, well, I have a Dorbs Loki. But pretty much all the Lokis I've gotten are pretty much from these boxes. And uh, you can see here's the little... Oh, they actually call the sticker a decal. So there's the box. Uh, celebrate 80 years of superheroes and villains that make them look good with collect uh, collectibles inspired by each villain's first appearance in Marvel Comics, including a Pop original Loki and Pop Thanos. No collection of Marvel villains would be complete without a Pop uh, Red Hydra pin and a decal and pop t-shirt are the perfect way to share your fandom with the world. Actually, it's kind of interesting that it's 80 years, but they are villains. Like, they're a little vague on these themes. You would think 80 years, they would go with like a Spider-Man. Because uh, he kind of started things off for a Fantastic Four, but they went with a Thanos and a Loki. Loki, of course, yeah, he is popular, so I get that. Thanos, of course, he just had the movies and everything, so I get it. And plus, he's not a six inch, he's you know, like I said, like five and three quarters inch, so he's still technically he's like a deluxe version of the regular size pops, but yeah, man, um, interesting that they went with villains. But next box should be pretty cool. Uh, it's the Marvel holiday, and it comes in November, so that should be interesting. Probably around Thanksgiving, I'll assume. Uh, definitely going to get that, because some of the Christmas holiday Marvel pops that they're coming out with are pretty cool. Uh, uh, Snowman, Captain America, the group, baby group, pretty much dressing himself with Christmas lights. Pretty adorable. <laughs> so, yeah. That's that. Uh, one box down. Two months, we'll have another. So far, nothing to unboxing. Um, this month, I will be going to see WWE SmackDown when it premieres on Fox Live here in Los Angeles at the Staples Center. Maybe have some videos and stuff like that up on uh, here about that, but nothing too much as far as that. But next week will be LA Comic Con, so I'll definitely have some videos. Hopefully... <laughs> Uh, I won't be lazy and maybe edit some stuff because I still have some stuff to edit from the Anime Expo, but it's really not much. It's just showing off a couple things I thought were cool, so that's why I kind of didn't do it. Uh, <laughs> I kind of just stuck to the Masquerade, just uploading that for everybody, but yeah. Uh, and then, of course, we have uh, the Joker movie review, which will be in a couple days. Uh, we've seen it on Thursday early. 4 p.m. So it's first showing of the day. And hopefully it's good. The trailers look really good. I'm really hoping for something really good. Uh, in October, man, we got to see what happens. <laughs> so, until next time, guys. Later.